evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Heidi Alaga. Title 42 was lifted an hour ago. Now for an inside look on what happens after these asylum seekers are being processed. Nine on your side's Reina Preciado joins us live from Nogales. And Reina, how's everything looking where you are right now? Yeah, Heidi, I'm here in Nogales, just outside of the Deconcini port of entry. And this port of entry is actually the only entry where asylum seekers are legally allowed to be processed. Now, I'll have you take a look at what we're seeing right now. As you can see, what we're seeing, we're, it looks like things are going pretty smoothly. We spoke to Customs and Border Patrol, Border protection officials earlier and they tell me they are prepared for a surge but we aren't seeing anything like that as of right now now even though the restriction was only lifted an hour ago processing had started earlier today border patrol was dropping off vans of asylum seekers who already went through immigration all throughout today i spoke to one man from Guerrero, mexico who had been waiting to be processed since yesterday morning he told me why he's seeking asylum my country is beautiful, my city is beautiful, but the hunger and the crime, it doesn't let you have anything. You can't live. You can be walking and suddenly see an armed person that can kill you. People will pick you up and take you. It's dangerous. He says his court date is scheduled two months from now for his request for asylum. He says he will be taking a bus from here to Tucson. Now, Customs and Border Protection officials also tell me that anyone that is seeking asylum should direct to the CBP-1 app where they can schedule their arrival. They say this will help with the flow of processing. Live from Nogales, Rainer Preciado, Kega 9, on your side.